this is the first lady of boxing, Lena Taylor, also known as Smiley. I'm coming to you guys tonight. I've been meaning to do this for some time. And I'm just getting, in my older age, a little bit more serious about executing. Because in order to complete your goals, you have to make sure you execute every day. But um, my ultimate dream in life is to be a coach which I already am, but I want to expand my horizons and uh, be a traveling coach, be a coach that other coaches need. And I have a question that I want to pose to coaches and maybe even to fighters, but most importantly coaches, because coaches are like captains of the team. They're like uh, sergeants. They're like the spider to a sniper. Um, they're the leader in command. And if coaches don't make the right decisions, then it takes a very rare fighter who can be successful without a good coach. And I want to pose this question to, to the coaches. And in my experience, which is about over 20 years in the game, since I was like seven years old, I find it that I'm pretty sure I bet one person, one percent of coaches know the answer to this question. One percent. Do you know how many jabs? your fighter can throw per round how many jabs can your fighter throw per round if you know the answer to that question post it in below but I really doubt that most do the reason I doubt that is because when I'm watching coaches uh, deal with their fighters while they're fighting the connection is not even there they're, they're not even instructing their uh, fighters properly that's why a lot of fighters can't make it out of states that's why you find a lot of people who aren't elite or are national champions or that's why maybe some people think the boxing world has in some way degraded or something which i don't think that's the case but um i do know that there are a lot of coaches who don't know what they're doing or who maybe don't take the game as serious but the reason why that's important is because consider this, consider war. If we were to go to a war together and we're going up against four men that have, or, or men or women who have rifles and we approach the battle and we, have, we all have pistols, which is not a problem. But we get to the battle and we say, oh shoot, how many bullets do we have? Well, how can you go to battle and not know how many bullets you have? How many? How can you go to a missile fight and not know how many missiles you have? I think that it's very irresponsible for a coach to place his fighter in a competition and not know how many jabs he can execute per round. That is a very serious thing you need to know um, if you're going to be a coach. Um, the reason why I think I need to start putting content out is because I believe that everyone should have the opportunity to be a champion. It is an amazing feeling. It is a feeling beyond any other to have your hand raised to receive a gold medal. Um, it's amazing to be a champion in any area of life. But I know the thrill of fighting someone um, when you're in elite shape, when you can do things and it's like the punches slow down. It's like the, you can see everything. Everything is very analytical. It, it's like how they show things on TV. Bottom line is this. You need to know how many guns you bring into the, the gunfight. You need to know how many bullets you got in the tank. Uh, it's a very irresponsible, dangerous game to play when you put a fighter in the ring and you can't, you don't even know what he can do. Uh, it's cool if he's a good fighter and he has swag and you know he can move his head, he's strong and all this other stuff. Yet and still, you have no idea what he can do. So uh, at some point, he's gonna face a fighter who is elite as or more elite than he is and you can't even play a chess match in that type of situation when you really don't know what he has in his tank can he do five jabs around can he throw 100 jabs around you need to know now if you need uh some assistance uh, with some with your fighter and i would love to help out that's what i love to do um maybe reach out to me at lena mcnab taylor at facebook.com or you can email me at taylor.lena scott.ii at gmail.com 
I would love to check some footage out of your uh, fighter uh, sparring, uh, competing, or training. Uh, see if we can come up with some elements that can improve his game. But make sure you all han handle that and address that and know how many jabs your fighter can throw. All right, this is the First Lady of Boxing. You all have a wonderful evening and a happy new year.